In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Trail of Playground for configure quotes for your customer and track contracts. This is the second unit in products, quotes, and contracts. So before we get in this, I just want to say that quotes are a really important part of the process that businesses use when selling to other businesses. Normally, if you're purchasing a product as a consumer, you just walk into a store, see what they have, and you buy it. A quote involves when a business is typically when a business is purchasing from another business they say we're going to commit to offer you these products and services at this price and that's a quote and there's going to be terms and conditions and all that's going to apply that is going to be included as part of that quote um, and then if the buyer agrees to it they'll sign the quote the seller the service provider the product provider will sign the quote and then there'll be a contract which will then be a legal obligation binding document that binds the two parties to make the commitments that I stated out in basically in that quote. If, if you're new to business, this is like a core part of what businesses do. So it's just important to recognize that. Okay. Uh, to the hands-on challenge, create a quote on an opportunity before you start, go to the object manager and fields and relationships. For the quote object, check the status fields. This should be, I feel like this should be bold or capitalized. Fields pick list values for in review. Add this new value if it is missing. And like these instructions here are a little bit not clear because the first thing you have to do is you have to enable quotes and then apply it to the opportunity object uh, layout. Then you're going to create a quote and then you're going to, here's how you're going to create that quote, you know. Like, anyhow, so let's do this. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, from setup, go to quotes, quotes, and make sure that you've enabled quote settings. I have already done that. And then you'll also select the page layout uh, to do that for, which is going to be the opportunity layout. That's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to go to the quote. Once you've done that, go to object manager, quotes, field and relationships and then check the pick list values and make sure that they have uh, in review as available. And that's there. So from your opportunities tab, you're going to find edge installation. If it's not in recently viewed, you might have to go to your all opportunities tab view. We're going to pick this. We're going to click add products. We're going to select Genwatt Diesel for 1,000 kilowatts. We're going to say the price is 1 and the sale price is 98,000. Click Save. So now that we've got a product there, we're going to go down to the quotes, click New Quote, the quote name is G diesel generator and installation for edge expiration date is two weeks from now businesses often will use an expiration date to say like we're good to offer this product or service for this time frame but if you go outside of that time frame where well, then we're gonna have to start over and you know usually that's sort of a it's a technique a little bit to make sure the customer makes a decision with a certain time frame. It could also be, you know, particularly if there's lots of effort involved, like we might have the capacity to do this product within this time frame, but afterwards we can't guarantee that we're going to have the people power necessary to do this product installation service, whatever it is. So. Okay, and then the draft is going to be in review. That should be it. So now we have the opportunity edge installation, the product Genwatt diesel, and the quote. Let's check to make sure that worked. <laughs> 